Disappointment is a powerful and destructive emotion, especially when directed inward. That precise moment in Illinois, at the bottom of my elimination squat, the moment that I realized my season was over, has been echoing in my head now for the past five months like a bad song on infinite loop. I had trained harder than I had ever trained before, only for it to all end before it even really began, and I've been waiting, counting the days until I could unleash my true potential on the platform. Well, that day has finally arrived, and it's 26 hours and 1,000 miles away in Orlando, and I am, once again, the one seed, the overall favorite. There's just one very small problem. In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased 13 fold. 13 fold. 13 fold. And the number of affected countries has tripled. 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 There are now more than 118,000 cases in 114 countries. As I sit in the airport waiting to board a flight to what could be the last competition for a while, I notice on CNN that the mayor of Chicago, the last place I competed in, is announcing the shutdown of her city. Hmm. Is this supposed to be a sign? If it is, is it trying to tell me I'm making a mistake? I don't know. I hope not, because my tickets are non-refundable. But what I do know is that I'm taking considerable risk by traveling to do this, and I understand that. But if you know me, and you know my story, then you also know that this is something I need to do. Since it's been a while, I guess now's a good time to get you all caught up. The last time I was on a flight to Orlando, I was with my mom and her friends for her birthday. Happy birthday, mama! I was recovering from my prostatectomy, and we were heading down for Military Nationals, my first full power competition since the surgery. I won silver. Then I flew to Aurora, Colorado with my now ex-girlfriend and competed in the men's and women's national championships. I won silver again. Then I took a short drive to Richfield, Ohio for state championships with my mother and sisters. And for the first time since the surgery, I won gold. Then back the following year to state championships in Cincinnati with my new girlfriend. I won gold again. <laughs> then finally, on to the Raw National Powerlifting Championships in Lombard, Illinois. The Super Bowl of powerlifting and the largest event of its kind in history. Where controversial depth and soft knee flags on what I call the squat herd round the world disqualified me and unceremoniously ended my season. And for the first time in my powerlifting career, I came home empty-handed. So yeah. Um, that's the first time I've ever bombed out of a That beef. judge is a whore. <laughs> Get that on record. My newest ex-girlfriend was not a fan of the officiating.
The coronavirus in many ways is like fire to me. It can spread rapidly and get out of control in the blink of an eye. But like fire, I don't fear it. I respect it. Because I understand what it's capable of. Also like fire, if consumed by it, it could end my life. But if it wants to do that, it'll have to take a number. I can let my mind get the best of me at times. I swear I worry about the wrong things. I... I'm looking that you had your original biopsy in February 2015, mm -hmm. and that led you to that. And then the actual surgery was completed in December. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at that time then, I'm reviewing the pathology from that. Now sometimes we have patients who have, right from the get-go, things about the surgery that are leaving a sneaky feeling that something's left behind. Right. Like the lymph node, the this and the that. So sometimes they like to give the radiation as a cleanup right after the surgery because if there's one cell left behind, you want to make that cell go away. Right. Okay. You didn't really have any surgical factors that looked like left a bad taste in your mouth. Right. But slowly and insidiously, it's creeping. It's back. creeping back. So here was pre-op. Mm -hmm. You know the numbers going up, up. Then you got your surgery mm -hmm. down, undetectable. But here you see that the it's going up a little bit. Okay. Right. So that thing is. This is not coming from nowhere. So yeah, there's that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Orlando. It's 9.21 p.m. So we're about 25, 30 minutes early. And just use caution as I was... In Cleveland, the, the airport was practically vacant. And since there were only 25 people on the flight down, we each had at least an entire road to ourselves. So social distancing was not a problem. Until we got off the plane. Where are you traveling from? I'm gonna Cleveland. Guess, uh, yeah, I was going to guess Cleveland. <laughs> Is that where home is? Yeah. How long have you called Cleveland home? Uh, all 50 years of my life. Oh, really? So okay. For a little uh, detour through uh, through the military. Is there, there any sure. food here, or is everything closed down? Currently, everything is closed down. Um, we will be having a limited breakfast tomorrow at the Daily Grind. Oh. When I finally got into the hotel room, I had three things on my mind food, rest, and washing off whatever the hell I might have come into contact with between Cleveland and here. Hello? Hello, Mr. Gray. This is Grubhub calling. Yes. Unfortunately, we had to cancel your order. Cancel? Why? Cancel is closed because of the quarantine. Of course. Sorry for the inconvenience, but your payment will be refunded. Okay. Have a good evening, Mr. Bray. Thank you. Well, the bad news is, looks like I'll be lifting on an empty stomach. The good news is, I shouldn't have any problem making weight. Shines brighter, I can't deny ya. A love so precious, so true. That love comes only from you. The angels think when I'm near ya. Everyone I know they feel ya. Listen to you when they hear ya. You're just so special indeed. Wish you knew just what I mean. Oh, Boy, you think you know, but you have no idea. Boy, you think you know, but you have no idea. I get 
Cleveland is on edge, but Orlando is like frozen. Like everything is closed here. Like right. stuff is still yeah, Friday. Yeah, everything in Cleveland is still open except for the bars and everything closed after nine. And the that'll change. But here, I, mean, I tried to get something to eat last night. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm running on three slices of bacon and a bag of chips. So what's up? And if I tell you that I'm down to risk it all, would you budge? And I might stop and do some crazy things just for your love. And if I tell you that I'm ready for it, then you should jump. So what's up? I'm trying to spend my life with you. Yeah, yeah. 8162. Yeah, yeah. All right, good to go. Good luck. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, this is unique. In your we call it buyer's environment. We're definitely going to have to meet. Appreciate you coming out and uh, making this, and with all the, especially with the referees who participate on this, uh, to make this for your illustrious. And so, if you're not feeling well throughout the meet, definitely uh, stop. You know, you know, pack your bag and go home uh, because we'll make sure everyone's safe. Do the social distancing if you can. Make sure you space yourself out. So let me go over the rules. For the squat, it's the first event. When they say the bar is loaded, you walk out to the squat bar. You walk one or two steps. Position yourself to the ref head referee to give you the signal. You position your head up and you wait until the word squat. When the word squat is given, you basically descend with the weight until this position gets below the top of the knee. And you stand up and then you hold the weight until the head referee says, so the rack command. And we'll start at 2 o'clock to so flight A. You should start warming up. The Military National Powerlifting Championship is a unique competition that pits the strongest active duty and reserve Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, and Coast Guard, as well as veteran, DOD civilian, and military family member athletes against each other in full power push-pull and bench press only competition. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus pandemic, presidential stop movement orders forced the majority of active duty competitors to withdraw from the event, cutting the roster down from over 100 to only 30 athletes and the normally much larger crowd of spectators took an even bigger hit due to fear of spreading the virus. But none of that mattered to me because I wasn't there to beat my fellow servicemen or to please a crowd. I was there for therapy. Finally, after 155 agonizing days of self-reflection and scrutiny, I stand on deck with my chance to undo the disappointment of Lombard, waiting to hear those three words from head referee David Ricks. Bar is loaded for 10, 446 times opening squat. I got bright consonants, sand lit files, hot shit flow quick like loose files. You didn't f with the backstory, don't now. I hold grudges like a pissed off ex spouse. Everybody holler, break team. I'm the owner, going viral on the motherfucker like Corona. Pandemic on the rhythm and microphone. Phone, oh, that's your girl. Not for much longer. Mm. I need a snack. She need bologna. Let her see the six pack, and she a gonna. If you looking for an ass whooping, I'm a donor. Don't wanna make the headlines. I know you think I'm throwing shade, but keeping it 100, baby, I just really wanna dance. 
redemption. Then, suddenly and without warning, we were all given an alarming reminder of exactly what we were up against. An individual who should remain anonymous appeared to collapse to the floor, unconscious, for no apparent reason. Even though it was later deemed a false alarm, the atmosphere of the meat would never be the same. The bar is loaded and ready for camp grade 297, opening back. Let's go, okay? If you followed my story, then you know that the bench press has long been my Achilles heel. And despite my best efforts, 300 pounds has been, for me, an impassable milestone. Until now. I was so distracted and excited by finally breaking the 300 pound barrier that I blew my third lift with a case of the giggles. When all of this began, I was in pursuit of a number. That number, 600. I risked everything for it. And seven months into my journey, I met that goal. Then underwent radical prostatectomy to remove my prostate gland and the cancerous tumor it contained. In the four years that followed, despite the personal, emotional, and physical ups and downs I faced, I refused to refer to myself as healed until I had met a new goal. I needed to surpass what I had accomplished. I needed to go beyond. So here I stand in front of a tiny crowd in an empty hotel a thousand miles from home in the midst of a global pandemic, staring down at a barbell loaded with the most weight I have ever attempted to lift, all the while wondering to myself, is it all worth it? Maybe I should run and hide. I'm lost, I'm trying to find my way out It's growing deep inside Sometimes I get so tired of fighting Toxic memories and dark energy My dark passenger, why do you poison me? What am I supposed to learn? Why can't you just fucking leave me be? Okay, 
silver medalist representing the Air Force. Come on back up, Anthony Perkins. Okay. And your champion of the Open 83 Kilo Class representing the Army. Come on back up, Ken Bray. Gentlemen, that's your 83 kilo class out your national men's Dilla Goldie champion champion goes to Ken Bray. What? <laughs> 606 pounds now, weighing under 180 pounds. Tom Bell, he is a master steel lifter. That's our 50 to 59 year old. That is a huge deadlift. For the 2020 USA Job Military Nationals goes to the Army. Yeah! Army Commander! I know. They what place the Navy was since he was They were fourth place because the Navy only brought two As you can see, People will disagree with the risks I take, and I understand their concern. But my outlook on life was forever changed that March day in 2015, and I will no longer take anything for granted. Each day is a blessing, and every opportunity I have to do something I care about, I do it with a passion as if it's the last time I will ever have that chance. Because one day it will be. And so I ask you, if you believe the next time you did something you love would be your last, what all would you be willing to risk for it? March it. When the players want to play, let the players play. March it. When the haters want to hate, let them hate. March it. When the DJ go to spin, he gon' spin. March it. When you go to get it in, get it in. March it. When the players want to play, let the players play. March it. When the haters want to hate, let them hate. March it. When the DJ go to spin, he gon' spin. March it. When you go to get it in, get it in. March it. I am coming for your woman with this hot damn. Look at the ass on her. Yes, ma'am. I just want you to love on me like you used to Look at me like you used to Nothing is like it was Feel like we're losing our chemistry I just want you right next to me We gotta get it together Cause I want this love forever Forever, forever No worth that I gave you too many chances Just to have you to go right back to her Her What is it about her? Way too good to have my feelings thrown in your trash can. You misunderstood. If you think we gon' keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Why do you take my love so for granted? Way 
too much of my energy Clearly your heart is not here with me Boy, it's not here with me Why choose to stay if you feel like it's not meant to be I'm tired of you Tired of you, tired of you, tired of you making me cry Cause I swear you keep making these choices Starting to think you're like causing me pain You're the lightning to my brain That thunder I can't shake In my world you're that earthquake That keeps on tearing me down Why do you take my love so for granted? I loved you regardless of the circumstances just take away too much of my energy Clearly your heart is not here with me Boy, it's not here with me Why just to say if it felt like it's not meant to be?